What's happening, people? It's Winston Gay, your open hands, art and animation. Today, we're going to be talking about this funny, unbelievable, good movie coming to him. Yeah, I said it. Unbelievable, good movie. Because that's why I feel about this movie. And, I, and the people watching with me when I watched it, they thought the same. Okay, this movie is very, very funny. It's very, very good. All right. Don't believe what anybody say or people online say the movie, you know, fell below expectations. It ain't this, do this, ain't do that. No movie is good and it's very, very funny. Okay, you saw the first one, you, you should respect this movie. I don't care what nobody said. Coming to America 2 is a very good film, okay? I got like three or four pages of notes. I took watching this joint. I came in last night. Uh, I actually saw like early in the morning. I came in last night when it first came out. Didn't intend on watching. I came in, I was about to play a game with my friend real quick. All right, turned to you while he was in the bathroom. Saw Coming to America just came up. So I just hit, let me look at something real quick. So I was okay, it's kind of funny. He came in, sat down. He said, he said, I'm about to leave in a minute. All right, I said, I don't because it's late. I mean, one, two in the morning. And then he sat there, said, you know what? I'm going to sit and watch the whole thing because it was that funny. It was that good. We was laughing out loud at two in the morning at this funny Bond movie. Coming to America 2 is a very, very funny movie. And if it's playing in a theater in the area, because I actually saw him in Philadelphia and I saw that um, in the Philadelphia area, it was actually playing somewhere, okay, in theaters. Though this is mostly on Amazon Prime. But uh, if you can see it in theater, support this movie in my opinion. I think you should support the movie and see the movie, okay, in theaters. All right. I like the way this movie was made. I like the fact that it was um very family, it was very family friendly. Okay. Then if you remember the first one, it was also, but but it, it, it to most most to most degree was, well, actually, I would probably say no, because they had a lot of cursing. <laughs> but it also had nudity in the first one. This movie, they change it around, okay. They don't have all of that. It wasn't a lot of languages, it wasn't a lot of languages in the movie at all. Um and it wasn't any nudity in it at all. I thought that was a great idea, okay, for real. The way they made it more family friendly. And, and the thing is, the movie doesn't suffer at all because of it. It's very, very funny. Okay, very, very funny. It's laugh out loud comedy, which is that you'll be sitting there laughing out loud while you're watching this joint. It's clever jokes, okay. Eddie Murphy, people forget Eddie Murphy um, is a very, very um, good comedian. He has like spot on timing, okay. And do a lot of the 90s, okay. And I'm, I guess in, in, in the late 80s, Eddie Murphy was pushing comedy and pushing the boundaries of comedy like nobody else was. People forget that. You know, people forget that. Maybe you, you know, if you were born in the early 2000s, you may not have known this. Or some of these people, I guess, maybe they must have forgot. Okay, like Roy Jones Jr. said, you must have forgot. Okay, people, I think people just forgot what this dude has done. Okay. And he comes with the comedy that he brought, that, that, that is brought in the first Come to America. And this movie is the same. And in some ways, it's better. Okay. So... If you if people say no, it's totally different, it's trash. That's just not true, okay. I'm not gonna give those people time. I just wanted to say really quickly because I see some bad reviews. I didn't watch them. I just saw you know stuff that, that were like people saying bad reviews about the movie and whatnot in the titles when I was doing videos on YouTube and whatnot, or maybe you want to um, you know some major newspapers. I was like, what? are you kidding me? I, I actually I, I actually watched the movie and then I saw it. So I was like, really? So the movie was like one of the funniest movies. It's, it's, it's actually right now it's the funniest movie that that's come out in 2020 21 period. It's no movie that's come out. That's a funnier, more funnier than coming to America, period. Okay, right now. Okay, that, that, that's a new film, period. Okay, so if someone's complaining about it, I don't know what they're complaining about. Okay, um, let's go to these notes really quickly. I'm trying to make this video quick, but this could be very, very long because this is a, a very funny movie. And I, I took notes while I was watching it. Number one, McDowell's is back. Louis Anderson is back. I like that. Okay, they got a new thing. You remember the Big Mick? Now they got the Mick Flurby. I believe it's called the Mick Flurby. Not the Mick Flurry, no, the Mick Flurby. <laughs> I said, this movie is funny. When I heard that, I just started busting out laughing. Okay, Louie Anderson, not in the movie for that long. I'm not trying to give too much away here, but, you know, seeing him in the movie, I like that. Okay, uh, Michael Blackson, I like that. He was in the film. I said, that's great cast. Who would have thought of Michael Blackson? He's the perfect person to be in this movie. Okay, I wish he was in it more. Okay, but the time when he was in it, he added to the film. It's a lot of people in this film, and all of them add to the film. They have Leslie Jones and Lou Nell in the same movie. I said, is that Lou now? <laughs> Watch, I said, is that Lou now? I said, this movie is funny. It is funny, man. You could tell that they really had us in mind when they were making this film, okay? I really, really appreciate this a whole, whole it was a, a whole lot. This movie was like a, such a pleasure to watch, for real. It was such a pleasure to watch, really. I cannot even explain it. Wesley Snipes still in the show. I was talking to my sister earlier today. She was saying that Wesley Snipes really steals the show. And I totally agree with her. He really, really does. Okay. Every scene that he in, every scene scene that he's in, excuse me, he lights up, you know what I'm saying? He lights up the stage. Okay. Lights up the screen. All right. He is just so funny and he's extremely talented. People forget Wesley Snipes was this. It's a very talented actor. He's the reason, one of my friends always says is that he's the reason really why we have the Marvel Cinematic Universe as, as we do today, because of Blade because he really brought some of the people never saw before in some of their movies and that's 100 true 
Okay. People think Wesley Snipes said, oh, he had tax trouble. Wesley Snipes had a lot of stuff going on with him before he had tax trouble. Okay. And he's still doing stuff right now. Okay. Don't look at, don't just look at the bad thing. Look at the good thing too. He done a lot. Okay. Wesley Snipes add a lot, adds a lot to this film. He was very, very comedian. The way he had this little walk that he came out with and it just was killing me. Uh, what else I got here? Um, Morgan Freeman. <laughs> I mean, they got any black person. You can imagine they have Morgan Freeman in this joint. And it's funny because, like, I heard Morgan Freeman's voice uh, at one point in this film, and I did not even think about it. I was just like, oh, watch that. Like, okay, okay. And then he showed, I was like, they should, like, you heard his voice, and then you saw him actually talking. Like, right after that, it was like he was doing like a, uh, um, <laughs> he was like doing a double or whatever. And I was like, that's Morgan Freeman. <laughs> and it was just funny, man. Like, I don't know. You got to see this. If you see, you kind of you know what I'm talking about, but. I thought it was so clever who they had in this film, okay? And everyone, and I believe everybody wanted, this, wanted to be in this film, period. I mean, they had Rick Ross in this dream. I mean, they had people in here that just, you know, I'm sure they say, you want to be in, to coming to America too? People was like, yeah, coming to America too. Why not? I would be in the movie if I could be in it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, shoot. Oh, well, who, who, who else, what else happened? What else is going on in this movie, man? Um, well, basically, let me talk about what, what was really the plot of the film. And the plot and the premise of the film is basically is that Leslie Jones, okay, who's the woman, the black woman off of, uh, who, if you don't know who she is, she's, she's a black woman from um, SNL, Saturday Night Live, okay? And also, I believe she's a comedian, or a comedian. And she's very funny. Seeing her in this movie, uh, which is a pleasure to see also, and they had, her, they had her looking really, really cool with a lot of these outfits, okay? And I think she brought some of her best comedy in this on, on film in this, in, in this movie also, okay? Um, she basically is a woman who Prince Akeem basically gets it. Who, he basically impregnates her um, in the first film, but we don't see that, okay? He didn't realize that he did, okay? And now he has like a, a son, okay, who basically is heir to the throne, okay? That's basically what the premise of the movie. Now, you may hear that and say, okay, well, I know what this is. It's going to be one of the movies where, you know, they go to the foreign country and People in Zuman, then A. Murphy and all of them, and Simi, they're like the upper class, and they're the lower class, and they're supposed to be all wild at everything that they see, and then they all hug at the end, and they go back home. And you would think that's what the movie is, okay? And at one point in the movie, that's what I thought that it was. I said, okay, I kind of can see how this is going to go. But it turned around. I was like, the writer said, no, 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 we know what y'all thinking. We, but, and I said it because we... we it's been a ton of movies made like that. It's been a, it's been a countless amount of movies made like that. And this movie says, no, we're not going to do that. We're going to turn around and do something different, okay? And because I because you know, in my opinion, initially in the movie, you kind of you know see um, basically um, the character of Leslie Jones and her and her son, whose name is I believe Lavelle. You see him, and you're like, okay, well, you know. Y'all are just embarrassing us. Y'all embarrassing us Americans, okay, in front of these, uh, I'm about to say Wakanda, so in front of these people from, uh, what's the name of this daggone country? Not, not Wakanda, but Zamunda, okay, there we go, Zamunda. Z and N, okay, that's where, um, they don't got C and N, they got Z and N, which you'll find out if you haven't seen this film. But anyway, <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah, they're basically kind of embarrassing us and they're acting like super ratchet and I'm watching just like, y'all really gonna do this? And I actually feel feel for them actually. That the movie really engaged. I'm looking like, come on, y'all. And the movie just that's another thing, the movie is very character driven. Okay. And it, and even though it's a comedy, you really do feel for these characters. Seriously. And I really, really liked it. I was just like, the movie is good. It's hitting, it's hitting so many marks and firing on so many different cylinders. I was very, very impressed. And I am a writer. I mean speaking to you, I'm a writer. Okay. I do, I'm a videographer. That's my main job. I do video every single week. Okay. So that's my main job. Okay, I've written comics, so, I'm not, so I know I know what I'm talking about when it comes to writing. Okay, I, I know bad writing, I know good writing. Okay, I maybe mean, the best writer in the world, but I know good writing, I know bad writing. Okay, this movie kept me engaged, kept me paying attention. Was it the best movie ever made? No. Was it the best comedy ever made? Maybe not, but it was very, very, very funny. Okay, and we was laughing out loud, and that's what you expect from a comedy. That's what the movie does. Okay, um, so yeah, um, let me see if I'm missing anything here. I got a lot of notes here. Uh, let's move on to the next next page. So I got pages of notes here. I'm gonna try to, I think I got three pages here. I'm trying to make this quick. Um, oh yeah, there's there's a scene where Lavelle is um bathed. Uh, Lavelle is, is basically the son of um and Murphy once again. Um he he basically gets bathed by <laughs> the Zamandan um you know stab. You remember in the first movie how Eddie Murphy was bathed by like those beautiful women? They return, okay. <laughs> you know, and they're there to bathe him. And he's looking like, 
oh really you know and it's just so funny because i just thought to myself like man like there's so many things that when you bring in you know americans into the into the scene as opposed to you know someone from zamanda going to america now you got americans going to zamanda it really is um slick how they can do grab those certain elements okay also there's a lot of i'm not i don't want to give too much away here but there are certain things that are unanswered in the in the first movie okay that are answered in this film okay and i really really like that they actually address those things okay really you think about it now i think about it now it's almost like they made like a <laughs> a coming to america cinematic universe that way it's almost like they're, they're creating a universe and i actually hope that they make it coming to america um three because i think this movie was so good it deserves another one and it's crazy because usually when i see a movie and they make a sequel especially if it's a long span of time between the first and second rarely uh i can't think of any movie i've seen where there was a remake years later that i said to myself man i hope they make another one i mean i hope they make another independence day you know whatever independence day three i mean well i don't know how many there was but i think the last one that came out if that was you know, three or two, whatever. I, I don't remember which one it was, but whatever it gives me be, I don't, I don't think I said, I want to see another one. You know what I mean? But with this movie, I'm really like, yeah, I hope they make another one. I think you would think the same thing too when you finish watching this incredible film. All right. Um, I think that they did a really good job with Tiana Taylor in this movie also. She actually played, some, she, she played somebody with, a, with an African accent. And I was kind of like, I didn't realize that from the trailer. So I was looking at it, I was like, man, like I said, is she going to be able to do this? <laughs> I mean, because I'm like, I've seen her before other roles and she's kind of, she's kind of, she was kind of playing like a ratchet person. So I'm like, I mean, the movies that I've seen her in, okay, I, I don't know, I ain't seen also she'd been in, but something I've seen her in, she was kind of playing like the hood person. So I'm like, man, can she pull this off? Because if someone, and you know, if you're an American and you're trying to pull off a foreign accent, so usually like, if it's a, especially, especially if it's a Jamaican or, you know, um, African accent, a lot of times that's very noticeable. Okay, it's very, very noticeable if you're messing up. Okay, so I was looking like, man, and uh, I thought she did a good job. Okay, they didn't give her too many lines. All right, but um, the lines that she was that she said, I thought that it came off well, and uh, I thought the movie was very, very clean. Also, the outfits is the outfits in this movie were outstanding. Like seriously, like outstanding. I mean, like, I mean, like out of ten, like, out of ten, like one out of ten, I'll give the movie like a twenty out of ten when it comes to the outfits. They were just ridiculous. I mean, every every scene that I saw, every outfit was just like perfect, immaculate. I mean, I would get this DVD, there's Blu-ray, whatever, or download this just just to study <laughs> the dad on outfits. Okay, the person that the, the costume designer in this movie should get an award for real. I don't care that this is a common. I don't care what you say. This movie should they should get an award for the costume design. I mean, I, I think about you know one of the things I do is my regular job is I'll film like people's events, like I film like plays, there and things like that. I'll film like uh, I film for um, sometimes I film for this um, this performing art school, okay, in the Philadelphia area, and to see all those costumes, I, I some a lot of times I watch it, I'm like, man, like that's a lot of work to do all that kind of stuff. They had these different kind of costumes, and to see this movie, it really made me think about that. And I said, man, like, you know, this movie is like that, but but on such a much higher level. And of course, it, it is because Hollywood, but still, like I said, man, like, it's, it's like this movie is just done so well. It was just so, so impressive. Okay, so, so impressive. You could tell they pay attention to the smallest, the smallest detail. Also, I, I, what I like about it is that, you know, everything looked real. Like, for example, it's a lot of scenes where people have like gold crowns on and stuff like that. Nothing looked cheesy, nothing looked fake. The stuff looked real. And I, and, and I was impressed because I'm like, this is a comedy. But still, they really, or even for example, when you see, um, you see Prince Hakeem, you see Eddie Murphy's character come in, okay, with like, you know, that um, big old necklace with the gold. It doesn't look cheesy. It doesn't look all fake. They try to make this stuff look real, real as much as they can. I really, really appreciate that, that attention to detail, okay? Uh, I'm trying to speed this up because I have a lot of notes here. And I, don't just, I don't want this video to be too long. Um, it's a scene here that cracked me up where Simi, um, who's Arsen Arsenio Hall's character, I believe, I um, mean, yeah, um, he, he calls um, Tracy Morgan. Okay, I'm trying to make sure I got his name right here. Because I was, sorry, I was forgetting the Arsenio Hall's um, name in this movie. Um, Simi calls Tracy Morgan a cholesterol dumpster fire in this movie. And I was just dying. I said, did he call this dude a cholesterol dumpster fire? I don't know why, but when you see it in this movie, it is just, to me, it just had me bust out laughing. I was like, this movie, the timing, it has, it has like a, like a spe specific time in this movie of jokes that just, that was taking me out. <laughs> and I'm the kind of person, I don't laugh easy. I'm not laugh easy at all. You know, so I see a lot of stuff. And I'm like, I've seen that before, I've seen that before. But the, this movie, it's just written so cleverly. And not to say that everything here is new, but it's just that it's so clever and it's so endearing, okay, and charming. It just it just draws you in, okay? It draws you in, grabs your heart, okay? It doesn't let go. 
<laughs> Seriously, it really does. It really, really does. Um, yeah, so I thought it was, that was really good. Um, the story, you know, it kind of seems to go into a cliche way of, you know, once again, a fish out of water, but it but it, it, it spins things around. I really, really appreciate that. Okay. And once again, I really, really thought that was really cool. Um, we see here like a love story here. I'm not going to talk too much about that because that could be a spoiler, but it's a love story but it's with, with Lavelle in the film. And I thought it was done very, very well. Also, um, but I don't know if it's maybe just my, my taste of, of, you know, or whatever case it be, but for some reason, it seemed like everybody in this film looked excellent. <laughs> like, everybody in this film just looked excellent. I was just watching this like, dang, like, it's like they don't have one bad person looking in this film. It wasn't like, oh, they had all, you know, mild type people in the film. It's just there for some reason. I, I just felt like it could, I'm sure it was the way it was lit, but just the way that people dressed. I mean, the way they had these outfits in this movie, they made everyone look their best. And I really appreciate that because it just shows like you don't have to, you know, dress really scandalous. I mean, they're wearing like African garb and these people look excellent. I mean, you don't have to look dressed like you a stripper or dressed like, you know, you you know, you you sell drugs to look good. I mean, it was outfits that the guy Lavelle had on, for example. It's outfits that Eddie Murphy had. I don't care nobody said. I'm mean, watching a movie with my man, and he like, yeah, that, that's that's a bad outfit. Yeah, at one point, I think he says, I'm like, oh, I'll actually wear it. It's like stuff that they got this guy wearing. At one point, he had like had something like a uh, like a gray like like coat type joint. It was it looked like it was velour or something. And this thing looked this so clean. I said, man, I'm looking at it so closely. Like, look, I got a big screen TV. I'm looking at this like this stuff is like. The attention to detail is crazy. And like these outfits is ridiculous. I'm like, man, like I'm sure he had to take some of that stuff home for real, for real. I don't know who they got. <laughs> I wish you looked this up. I don't know who they got to do the design. Okay, and this stuff guys, but I will look it up on here, but I want it to be, to be I want this video to be too long. But where we're, once again, where did this stuff, the costume design, they need to get in the war. <laughs> um, once again, the movie was very friendly, friendly. And I like it, I really appreciate that, all right? There was a lot of new to you, nothing like that. Um, I guess this is all my notes right here. Uh, wrapping this video up, once again, I thought the movie was great. Um, and it says a lot about Eddie Murphy also, okay? The fact that, um, you know, Eddie Murphy could come out with this film, okay? And when you come out with a film that's, a re that's you know, the, a, not, not a, a remake, but I guess, you know, continuing the story, okay, of the coming to America. I mean, it's like a, a hit or miss type thing. And some people will say, oh, what is the movie, you know, really miss? I feel like they hit it out the park. Like, I seriously do. I think that everybody will like this film that really liked the first one. I mean, that if you really like comedy, you will definitely enjoy this film. Coming to America 2 is excellent. I would give this movie a nine out of 10. The only reason why I want to give it a 10 out of 10 is because um, I felt that, I don't know, part of me felt like I wish it was a little longer. And also I felt like certain, certain characters they had in the movie like Michael Blacks, I feel like they could have been utilized later and they weren't. But, you know, end of the day, this movie really tried to focus on the story that was being told, you know, with the family. And the other thing the movie does really, really good is that it's like, I feel like it just keeps ramping up, keep, keeps ramping up, keeps ramping up, okay? And the way things happen, you think that, it, that it's ran out of steam and then it goes to another level. It takes to another level. And it really makes you feel like you know these people to a, a slight degree, you understand? Once again, it's just a comedy. It's supposed to be like, you know, the most serious movie. It's a comedy. But still does a great and excellent job in doing that. I really appreciate this movie. I'm really glad that I saw it. I think that you should also see Coming to America too. okay? It's a great film. Um, also had a lot of martial arts. It, it actually utilized martial arts, you know, if they're in full. So I won't give too much away, but I thought that it was very, very entertaining. Okay, I wish I could say more, but I don't want to give too many spoilers in this, video, in this review. But I'm going to say once again, check it out. Don't listen to anyone telling you that it's trash. Check this movie out. Watch it, support it, okay? And if he's doing his thing, but I'm gonna give him, you know, I mean, a little, you know, round of applause for that, okay? He did a great job. Daddy did a great job. It's a lot of actors that I left out in this review, but I want to be too long. But everybody did a good job. The movie was great. It was excellent. I'm out. Talk to you guys later. Subscribe to this channel if you have not already. Peace. Thank you for watching.